Mist from the Blue Ridge Mountains, North Carolina. And I'm here today to show you um, some fun things I'm doing with paint and collage. One of the things I'm doing is um, collaging and painting on a, a, a canvas bag. So this is one of my bags. I used ink and a combination of ink and I collaged fabric. I used PH Martin's ink and golden extra heavy gel to put the fabric on. So this is one of my designs for, for the bag. After I finish the bag, I put um, Joe's really good gloss varnish on the bag to help protect it, particularly since it's a white canvas. Um, here's another bag. Um, I like this little bird image that's got a flower in its beak. Um, this actually had something, some writing on it that I wanted to cover. So I used um, fabric to cover that and um, also the ink and, uh, and paint. And then I discovered um, that Cheap Joe's makes a canvas bag. I've been thinking about how I would like to paint on it and make it and personalize it. Um, it's got a place for your brushes, which is really nice. Went ahead and used some images that I had already um, created, um, some sort of fun cows. So this is my art bag, so I want this to sort of reflect who I am. So some of my own artwork on it, on this side. And then on this side, I'm going to use my bird image and in ink and a paintbrush, which is actually part of um, Cheap Joe's logo. So it kind of brings it together in my mind. So the first thing to do for me is to protect this flap because if I don't, the paint will probably, might go through it and get paint on here. So I'm going to put something, a barrier down to protect that. I've already um, put this flower on up here using the extra heavy gel gloss. I'm going to start with the ink because that's likely to be the messiest. Start with the green. Put a little bit in my little container. Use a fairly fine brush that's dry. If you have a wet brush and you, with the ink, it might make it a little too watery and you may have some running on the canvas, which is not what I'm looking for anyway. So I've already penciled in my design of my bird. So I'm just going to go over it lightly in ink, the outside of the bird. Done. And then I need a little bit of orange for the beak. Just a little bit of orange and a little bowl. Dry my brush off real good so it won't run. Then I'm going to paint the beak orange. These are really nice bold colors and I feel like they take really well to the fabric. There's other paints you can use, but I have these inks and so it just makes sense to me to, to use them for this. I'm going to leave a little place for the paintbrush there. Use the black gesso for the eye that I've already drawn in. A little, a little thick, I'm going to add just a little water to my brush. But I don't want it very wet or it'll run on the canvas, I've found. So there's its eye. Now I'm ready to put on the paintbrush. So I've already cut it out. 
and I use the extra heavy golden extra heavy gel for applying it with my trusty popsicle stick. I'm just going to add this to the back of the fabric. And I also like to put some on the top of the fabric too. Just seals it in and protects it. Just applying some nice pressure to make sure you got a good seal there on the edges. Especially important. And then here's the paintbrush handle. So I've already cut this out of fabric sort of determined what I want to use. So there it is. We'll stick it on. I rather like the um, effect of the threads, so I'm not worried about the thread showing, the raw edge of the thread showing. I'm just going to cover it real well with a medium so that they won't actually ravel. So they'll just become part of it. No problem. I think I would like to cut that and actually have the beak showing. So I'm going to find some scissors and give it a snip. Okay, so I'm cutting the, the paintbrush because I decided I wanted it to go behind behind the beak. So now I'm going to fill in the, I'll have to go back and fill the beak in. I think I might just leave it like that. I like that too. So I've already applied it to the back of this, so I'm just going to apply some to the front of it. And I think I will Maybe just put a little bit of more orange on. I think I'll just leave a little small white line where the brush would be behind the bird's beak. Just make it a little bit more interesting. Give you a visual of it actually being inside the beak, I think. So then to finish it off, I will use Joe's gloss varnish, and that will just protect it because it is canvas. So just make it a little bit easier for cleanup for just spot, uh, spot cleaning. That's it, have fun doing your bag.